So according to a survey from Stack Overflow, JavaScript is said to be one of the most popular languages used by close to 70% of coders globally. It powers the world wide web and is also one of the earliest languages to be learned by programmers. But behind all these wonderful colors and numbers we are talking about JavaScript, what is the actual backstory of JavaScript? In this video today, we will talk about all the backstory of JavaScript since its inception in 1995 until date. Now let's get into this video and talk about it. So before the popular names like Google Chrome, Opera, Safari came into the picture, what existed was some very outdated old fashioned browsers who were competing to outdo each other. The first web browser with a graphical user interface was Mosaic, which was launched in 1993. Its accessibility to everyday regular people without much technical knowledge fastened the speed of the adoption of World Wide Web in the 1994. The creators of this browser later established a Netscape cooperation which later made a very much more refined browser called the Netscape Navigator which became the go-to browser for everybody doing the web activities then. And also in the mid 90s the browsers were very boring. They were not fun to interact with neither were very user friendly. So for that as a solution Netscape decided to add a scripting language to their browsers which will make it much more dynamic and much more user friendly. So as a first the company decided to partner with Sun Microsystems who were the then creator of Java and decided to embed their script in their browser. And also they decided to partner with Brandon Ike. Brandon Ike was one of the most popular programmers back then. But then the company realized that it is better to create their own programming language. It might share some similarities with Java still but will branch off from the existing scripting language completely. And also yes, a fun fact, JavaScript was earlier known as Mocha, later also known as LiveScript, but then they decided to name it as JavaScript only. But the language which had been developed in just 10 days would run into the problems very soon in the same year of its inception in the 1993. JavaScript then also created its own version called the JScript in the year 1997. But because of the differences in the syntax, it became very difficult to run the browsers seamlessly. And it also became very popular amongst the coders that the pages with the logos had to be given instructions that it either should be loaded in the Internet Explorer or into the Netscape. To rectify this, Netscape headed to ECMA, the European Computers Manufacturers Association, to unify the different iterations of the language and the outcome was the release of the ECMA script in the year 1997. This collision, the ECMA collision worked very well till the year 2000s until Microsoft started gaining share. When the Microsoft's Internet Explorer got more user base and became one of the biggest player in the industry, Microsoft decided that now it is time that they should drop out of the collision ECMA due to which the upgrade of the ECMA script was also to be delayed and planned off. Microsoft was not the only player gaining a lot of user share. Netscape by then has also formed a new company called the Mozilla and yes, it made a very famous browser which we all know called the Mozilla Firefox in the year 2004. So in its earlier years, JavaScript had to rely upon the major big corporations for its upgrade but not anymore. JavaScript is now maintained on GitHub and was also greatly boosted by the launch of Node.js by Ryan Dahl in the year 2008. Since then, it has branched out of just an exclusive web browser language into other applications as well. There are numerous libraries and frameworks that support coding in JavaScript. So to know if the website is actually using JavaScript, what do we do? All we need to do is just sit and observe. If the web page is bothering you with a lot of pop-ups here and there, not reloading the page in case of any data change, or is giving you very dynamic animations onto the page, the chances are that the page is using JavaScript. So that's the end for the today's video. But wait, what do you think? Will JavaScript ever be replaced by any other programming language? And if so, what will be that programming language? Make sure you comment down the name of the language in the comment section. And also please do not forget to like and subscribe our channel. See you in the next video.